it's not too often that I'll do an unboxing. Main reason being, I usually don't have enough money to buy the newest, latest, and greatest stuff. But I was practically forced to do, to do this one because I didn't see a review nor an unboxing of MSI's GeForce GT730 low profile. This specific card has 2GB of GDDR5 memory while other variants have 1GB of GDDR5 and 2GB of GDDR3. This was by far the best deal so I just had to buy it. I bought the low profile card so it can fit in the Xbox I've been working on and it's the second best card I can get to fit in there but the best being MSI's GeForce GT 750 Ti low profile. The only drawback of that card is it's twice as expensive, the 750 Ti being $150 and this one only being $70, so it was a much better deal. The first thing you'll notice is the MSI Afterburner logo, so yes, this card does overclock. Again, 2GB of GDDR5 memory and PCI Express 2.0, and that's all that's really seen on the front, so let's go to the back. You see the MSI solid capacitors that promise 10 years under full load, and this card features... Uh, NVIDIA Physics, NVIDIA Adaptive V-Sync, NVIDIA FXA, so for better anti-aliasing, DirectX 12 API, NVIDIA 3D Vision Ready, and NVIDIA CUDA technology. There's a 64-bit memory interface, a core clock of 1,006 megahertz, so almost one full gigahertz, 5,000 megahertz memory clock, a maximum of three displays, though probably not recommended for triple monitor gaming. The power consumption about, is about 49 watts, so it's recommended you have at least a 300 watt power supply. Opening the box, under the graphics card we see two LP brackets for your low profile case. And under the cardboard we see a disc to MSI Afterburner, but just download the one online instead. And a user's guide. Now for the 730 itself. Inside of the anti-static bag you find this small but hopefully powerful GT730. I enjoy the 141mm long build, so this will help fit in the small space inside the Xbox. At a closer look at the card, you see the shiny blue aluminum heat sink under the plastic body wielding one 54mm fan. The GT730 doesn't need any extra power from the power supply. Running off the PC, uh, PCI Express lane is plenty for it. And in the back I.O., you see a small flexible gray cable from the car to the VGA port. This can be oriented to the top if you want to use the low profile brackets, or you can pop the cable out, which is what I'll be doing for the Xbox because we don't have much space in there. Lastly, for the I.O., we see one HDMI, one VGA, one DVI. All right, let's see some benchmarks. We'll be using two different test benches. The first one has an AMD Athlon 5150, 1.6 GHz, with 4 GB of 1600 MHz DDR3 RAM. Test bench 2 has an i5-4670K at 3.4 GHz, so it's not overclocked, with 16 GB of 1600 MHz DDR3 RAM. I have two graphs for you. The first one doing the Tomb Raider 2013 benchmark. I'm testing two processors with different amounts of RAM to show where the performance differs. Now, as you may know, Tomb Raider is very well at comparing GPUs. My evidence supporting this is that both benches got very, very similar scores. Oh yeah, and I couldn't get the i5 to do Ultra nor Ultimate, so I just went with the from high settings. Medium settings at 30 to 40 FPS, and low starting from 30 all the way up to 60 FPS. Now we see many more lines to follow the Bioshock Infinite benchmark. On high settings at 1080p, we see from unplayable to a little over 30 FPS, high we, see, we get unplayable to over 40 FPS, medium we get moderately playable to almost 50 FPS, low we get 30 to 60 FPS. On very low we get anywhere to 117 or 105 FPS. Next to open up Minecraft, uh, sorry for the no graph, I got around 100 to 120 FPS on default settings, so 16 chunks, fancy, smooth lighting, all that jazz. By the way, I don't want to overclock this card because I want to leave it as, uh, as pristine a condition as possible for hopefully next upcoming video. <laughs> That's been planned for like weeks, but finally, but uh, keeps getting delayed. But do I recommend this card? <laughs> yeah. I bought this card for $70. I will fully 100% recommend this for a budget build, hands down. Hey you, put your hands down! Thanks for watching guys, remember new videos every Wednesday to Friday, it varies.